Why do you have the golden arches in your hand? Why did you eat 20 piece meat nugget? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> uh, books is good for the brain. Your papi had a heart attack today. Brain and petals, these drop. I wore the wrong shoes. I am dumb, so. No one cares! 567.4 I'm not a narcissist. Did she spray Pam on the food? Hello, it's ready. So we are currently at Myers. I'm gonna grab me a cart. Just a quick warning before this montage, she touches literally everything and puts most stuff back. Oh yeah, and shoves her face in some body scrubs. In one of the last vlogs, I hauled this lint like garbage. It's actually magnetic. And then this cute dryer sheet storage. So you put the dryer sheets in there, obviously. You just pull them out. Simplicity. In my opinion, this whole putting things into other things thing is more complicated than it needs to be. And not really simplistic at all, but hey, that's just hey guys, me. So I'm having a little night snack. I have some comfy clothes on. It says nope. Love that. So I'm about to try a Brie spreadable cheese wedge. Little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm gonna try it with one of these organic garlic naan crackers. A little taste test. Whoa. That is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna have a couple of Kalamata, however you say it, olives. Love me an olive. My girlfriend doesn't eat these, so I just like <laughs> eat them out of the jar. I just did a scratch off. I did a couple of them. Um, I won $2 on this one, $3 on this one, $45 on this one. So I spent $10 for this one. Okay, wait, the lighting makes my hands look so dark. Wait, baby, can you come here real quick? Because people have been saying how, like, dirty my hands are. It's literally the lighting because my hands does not look like this in person. Do my hands look like that in person or... Let me see your hands. No. They don't look that dark in person? No. Like at all? Let me see your hands. I don't know. really think they look that dark on video. They look darker than in real life, but not that dark. So they don't look like this in person? No. Okay. I just have to like have you repeat that over and over because I was like, why does everyone say that? But I get it now because I'm looking and I see it. Wow. The denial is real girls. I know how to save money. You put makeup on your knuckles to hide it. You know what? Let's put makeup on my knuckles. So people were saying I put concealer on my knuckles. So let me get some concealer. I never in my life would have ever thought of doing something like that. Is this good for you? Um, do I use a makeup brush for this? I don't even know. Ooh, crusty. Yes, I put makeup on my knuckles to hide it. <laughs> To hide what exactly? <laughs> My diabetes. But anyways, um, this is just fun to do sometimes. Um, I don't know, but I wanna say, oh my God, I won. So I was on Facebook and I saw this photo of me. This is from when I was 11. I was in foster care. I was visiting my parents. This is a little room that we used to be in to visit once a week. The sad thing is she was so neglected by her parents that she was over 200 pounds at this age. However, she is in her 30s now and has gained over 300 pounds since then and blames her dark knuckles on the camera and lighting. She really is so careless when it comes to her health and that's not something she can blame her parents for anymore. Oh, yeah. 
So let's continue off where we left off. Number four is lack of cute clothing. I will say I try my hardest to find cute clothing, but I feel like I can't. This is totally true. 100% true. The style that I would have if I was like at the size that I want to be, it would be very different, I feel like. I kind of just like make it work. Like today I'm wearing really cute overalls. Am I girly? Am I more darker? Um, am I chic? Am I hipster? Am I like an old woman? If I find something that fits for me, I take it and I run, girl, because it's hard. And sometimes I'll like find something that fits me and I'm like, I want one in every size, every freaking design. Like, I definitely remember this, like back then, I, especially on Torrid, I would literally buy everything on Torrid. Um, and now I'm very, very particular about what I buy. I used to wear a lot of like floral and like grandma-esque attire. And I do not go down that route anymore. I'm not saying like floral is grandma-esque, but I definitely don't vibe with floral unless it's more like darker. It's hard to explain. Like, I feel like my style has actually drastically changed. Um, I know right now you guys can't really tell, like... I, I look frumpy, which I totally get that, but like you can tell that I have sort of like a, a niche that I am going for. Number five is needing an expensive scale. So because I'm so much bigger, I can't just go into Walmart or like TJ Maxx and be like, okay, I need to buy me a scale. No. This is a true fact. I happened to just like pass the scales and I was like, I wonder if they have scales that like I could like stand on and would work and no like every scale at stores like only go up to like 300 pounds or so which is a little frustrating because you know this is the usa we are a fat country and i don't know i find it really weird that like scales are not accommodating to people my size where it's like people my size need a scale because we need to lose the weight we need to keep track of that progress i do agree that scales need to be accessible for all without discrimination but this girl willingly told us that she spends thousands per month on food alone and can't seem to get below 500 pounds because of it she of all people can afford a 300 dollars industrial scale the scale that i have now is over three hundred dollars i did wait until it went on sale so i did buy it for around 160. yeah that's true um the scale that i use now is an industrial scale i shouldn't be at this size i shouldn't have to buy a scale that's that expensive like i should be able to go into any store and just buy a scale literally being bigger is more expensive clothing is more expensive like torrid is so expensive which makes sense because like you're using more material for said item. Being bigger is more expensive. Housework is hard. You know, things like mopping because it hurts my back. Doing the dishes is hard. This makes me so happy. And the reason why this makes me so happy is I do not have this problem anymore. Yes, my back, like, my back does hurt sometimes when I'm washing the dishes. I literally am like my second dish in and I am just crippling in pain. Not it anymore. Hurts. Cleaning out the litter box hurts my back. Just everything Not anymore. makes- When it comes to the litter box, I do have a little bit of pain, but it's because of my hysterectomy, my pelvis. But that's literally just because of my hysterectomy. It's not like weight related or anything. Yeah, I just, I love watching this struggle stuff because it's like, I see progress and I love that for me. But back then my breathing was so bad and it's like nowhere near that bad anymore. Yeah, I'm just glad it's not as bad. Bye. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say, anywhere. I need people to know that like mental things are it's scary like there are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall this is my life and i do what i want